Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at I Love Lucy. I want to thank all the subscribers who've been with me for so, so long. We have hit 10,000 subscribers, so go ahead and watch that video in which I tell a lot about myself. Hopefully you enjoy that. And to all the new subscribers, thank you and welcome as well. Today I have an interesting topic for you. I'm really excited to share it. I was watching an I Love Lucy episode recently and I noticed eggs. Eggs were prominent part of the plot and so I thought let's look at all the episodes where eggs at least play a role in the story so let's begin guys and gals hopefully you enjoy this don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe and let's get right to it now let's begin with the episode fan magazine interview this is from season three now what's interesting about this one is that uh, it starts out right in the beginning of the actual episode. You see Lucy staggering out of bed and then Ricky coming into bed. It's kind of an everyday life in the life of a married couple. As always, Lucy is overdrawn in her financial accounts and so she decides to cut back on extravaganzas including food. So she cuts back a little bit on the eggs and a little bit on the sausage and bacon. And so they each decide to have one the egg and one the bacon so that they can swap and uh, get both of the meal and you can see Lucy in the background with the egg. Now while that wasn't the most funny moment ever on I Love Lucy, here's one that you may like and this one comes from the episode Matchmaker. It is also from season three and Lucy is trying to set up Sam and Dorothy who are this couple who for some reason or other haven't decided to get married yet. So Ricky decides to scare him and let him know that marriage is super difficult and that it's not the glamorous life that he expects it to be. So Lucy decides to get back at Ricky by fixing him a horrible breakfast. And amongst those things is to sloppily give him seeds instead of orange juice and even pour a raw egg on top of his raw bacon. Continuing with Lucy Wants New Furniture, I know a lot of you are big fans of this episode because you let me know of that in the comments. And what's great about this episode is that Lucy buys furniture behind Ricky's back. Now the old furniture is inside her kitchen. She tries to hide the secret from him, but of course Ricky discovers it. And he tries to teach her a lesson by having her save. She decides to save again on things like breakfast and even gives Ricky a tiny, tiny egg as well as a tiny, tiny piece of sausage. Oh, Lucy, she always comes up with her crazy ideas. Now, the episode Inferiority Complex is often forgotten by people because it's very simple and the script doesn't have anything too outlandish in it. Lucy, of course, is feeling inferior and the gang is trying to cheer her up. However, Lucy is making all these mistakes, not telling great jokes, and amongst the things, when she's cooking breakfast for Ricky, she seems to not know what she's doing. One of the things is she oversalts his eggs. Look at Ricky's reaction as he takes a bite. Eggs look great. <laughs> <laughs> Now in this season one episode, Men Are Messy, this is where I actually got my idea to make this video about the eggs because I did notice that Ricky did sit on an egg. Of course, you know the story of Lucy and Ricky having a fight between keeping the apartment messy or clean. And finally, Lucy wins out in the idea that she goes overboard on the messiness. But you can see Ricky sitting on an egg. And this to me is a great moment and I'll show you why. Now, did you notice that, guys and gals? I'm not going to outright call this a blooper, but notice what happens. Ricky sits down on the sofa cushion. Notice that his hand contacts the couch first. He reaches behind the cushion, pulls out the egg, and crushes it with his hands so as not to actually sit on the egg and get it all over his suit and his pants. It's a pretty clever way to get this effect done. I'll show it to you again. In the episode, Ricky thinks he's getting bald. There needs to be no explanation for this episode. It's self-explanatory. Of course, Lucy uses that disgusting mustard plaster and all these crazy gimmicks on his head to make him think that this was a real way that he would outgrow his hair. And of course, one of the messiest, gunkiest parts is when Lucy uses oil, vinegar, and even some eggs on Ricky's head just to teach him a little lesson. Yeah, You have to give Desi props for keeping the straight face and doing such a great job here. <laughs> I don't understand how it was able to last through this torture in the filming. It's crazy to think about. Hey. 
Now I've highlighted this episode, Ricky's Hawaiian Vacation, on several of my videos. And what's great about it is just the broad range of comedic gold that is in this episode, ranging from Lucy, Ethel, and Fred dancing in Hawaii attire then later, they would appear with Frank Nelson, who played Freddie Fillmore on The Freddie Fillmore Show. But I think what's most important, or at least most funny to me in the episode, is when Lucy becomes the butt of all the jokes, and she gets all this gloopy and slimy things dump on her, like honey and, of course, eggs. And here's a quick one for you guys and gals, nothing too crazy, but in Lucy Wants to Move to the Country, we see that, of course, Lucy decides that it is time to move away from the city and into the country. And so she goes into the country and visits, and she's given a few gifts, some country butter, but also some country eggs that she gives to Ethel. And you can see the huge bowl of eggs that she gives to Ethel. It's a nice little gesture from friend to friend. These are for you. Oh, thanks, honey. <laughs> This is possibly one of my favorite egg moments in I Love Lucy. This one comes from Little Ricky Learns to Play the Drums. We all know this one where Little Ricky is influenced by Big Ricky to play the drums and of course he gets a little bit too addicted to it and plays the same beat over and over. What I love is the comedic genius of having the writers decide to use the beat as a medium for the way that the Ricardos speak to each other. Let's take a look. How many eggs, there? <laughs> two. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. 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 Not only that, but take notice at how Lucy is able to perfectly time the beat along with her putting the eggs in the waste paper basket. This is so great to see. <laughs> Nothing matches the look on Desi's face. This is an example of what makes them one of the greatest comedy teams of all time. I only two eggs there. <laughs> and what's the number one moment in my opinion regarding eggs on I Love Lucy? It's from the episode Lucy Does a Tango. Now two things are going on here. Ricky and Lucy are learning how to play the tango for I believe a PTA meeting that they're going to have. However, there's another storyline that's going on in the background where the Ricardos and the Mertzes are trying to get some chickens to lay eggs to make some money in a business deal. However, the chickens aren't laying eggs and Lucy and Ethel decide to buy some eggs and pretend that those are the ones that the chickens have laid. The boys come in and so they decide to hide the eggs on their person and however, this is a disaster when Ricky comes in and wants to practice a tango with Lucy having a blouse or full of nice fresh eggs. <laughs> and yes, I've been asked many times and this does create one of the longest laughs ever recorded from a live studio audience on film. It lasted over a minute. Imagine a full minute of people laughing nonstop at Lucy having all those eggs crushed in her shirt. Well, thank you so much guys and gals for watching this and let me know down in the comments below which one of these is your favorite moments and let me know why. I really do appreciate all your love and support as always. I hope you're staying positive, but before we finish, I do want to announce the winner of the giveaway. I just want to give a friendly reminder that you've had to participate in watching the previous video in order to be eligible to win this book entitled Laughs, Luck, and Lucy. It was written by Jess Oppenheimer, of course, the executive producer of I Love Lucy and creator as well. He wrote it along with his son, Greg Oppenheimer. You're getting a sealed new copy along with a Lucy's Lost Scenes CD inside. I hope you're ready to announce the winner and Katie Barnett. Yes, Katie Barnett. Thank you for participating as well as everyone else for participating. You will be getting your new sealed book in the mail. I just have to message you and also get the verification that you followed in all of the eligibility rules. Now, if you didn't win, guys and gals, don't worry about that because there will be more giveaways and contests in the future. So stay tuned and make sure to watch all the videos to get all the information on this. I hope you're keeping positive, guys and gals. I hope you're not letting anything negative keep you down. Always, always, always think positively and most importantly, be hopeful.